Hi, this is Ray Gianelli, and reading some of the comments that folks have made on my YouTube channel is that you'd like to hear more about distortion analyzers. So let's talk about distortion for a moment. What exactly is distortion, and why do we want to measure it? Well, we're talking about audio amplifiers, and strictly speaking, distortion is any deviation from 100% pure fidelity. Now, we have learned to characterize and measure several different types of distortion, THD or total harmonic distortion, its cousin THD plus N, IMD or intermodulation distortion, and its cousin TIM, which is transient intermodulation distortion. But what, what we're going to focus on is THD, because when you're looking at audio amps, the second thing you look at after output power is distortion. Now the ear is not very good at detecting distortion unless it's really gross levels. So in order to make sure that an amplifier we have on our bench meets spec, we need some way to measure the distortion. And for this we're going to use the distortion analyzer. Now there are many different types. Some are hardware based, some are computer based. Um, but what we need to determine is THD versus THD plus N, or THD plus noise. Most of the older analyzers, the Hewlett Packard um, 33X series or the 8903, were analog and they measured THD plus N, even though they just said distortion. That's what they were measuring. You need to go FFT in order to do the math to remove the noise from the equation and just measure the harmonic distortion. So let's take a moment, I want to set up a visual aid here so we can see what harmonic distortion looks like. Okay, if we look at this graph, you'll notice here that we have a spike at one kilohertz. And then we have other spikes here at various intervals, okay? So our one kilohertz sine wave, which we're inputting in, is fairly impure because we have harmonics at two kilohertz, three kilohertz, four kilohertz, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up probably past 20 kilohertz. And I chose this particular signal source knowing it had a fairly high THD level so we could so we could see this. Now the way most of the older distortion analyzers worked is they used a very steep notch filter to take the fundamental frequency out. And what they simply measured was once the fundamental was notched out was everything else. Everything else was considered distortion. And this was THD plus N because there was no way to characterize whether the noise was coming from 60 hertz or some other source. These are just harmonics of the 1 kilohertz. So the way that you measure pure THD is with an analyzer that has digital functionality or does, does a FFT or Fast Fourier Transform. By the way, if you want to know more about distortion, go to audio precision ap.com and just put in the search window there thd you'll get a bunch of good tech notes and white papers that will explain this far better than i can so now that we have a nodding acquaintance with how these analyzers work let's take a look at one first off i'll show you the stupidly expensive one that i just had to have and we'll take a look at how it works and what it displays Okay, I'm feeding a high purity sine wave into my Harman Kardon HK770 bench amp and we're picking that up off the dummy loads and reading an output of 58.9 volts on the left channel, 56.9 on the right with a distortion of 0.22% in each channel. This unit of stock has not been refurbished or rebuilt in any way. It's just my bench amp. One of these days when I have time I will take care of that. Now, before I bought this analyzer, I had bought the Keithley 2015 THD. That is a six and a half digit benchtop multimeter that also does distortion. So we're going to take a look at that now. 
This is the Keithley 2015 CHD. The Achilles heel of this device is the internal sine wave generator, which is showing right now between 0.3 and 0.5% total harmonic distortion. Specs should be better than that, but suffice it to say that the signal source on this unit is not pure enough. I actually have gotten a lot better results burning a one kilohertz tone to a CD with uh, audacity than I get from this generator. So the next solution I'm going to show you is computer based. This is Visual Analyzer. It's a free download although I strongly suggest you make a donation like I did. Somebody put a lot of work into this. But this will do spectral analysis and if you can see up here in the corner it does THD. And reads it out right there. The only thing you need to use this is a computer and a way of getting your signal into the computer. For that, I'm using an Alesis IO2. I bought this when I was recording uh, music into the computer and it worked fine for that. It also seems to have fairly low inherent distortion. So I've been using that with Visual Analyzer and getting pretty good results. As you can see, this is from the CD and it has very, very low distortion. I'm not sure what's going on with that right now, but it didn't happen until I uh, started moving all this stuff around. Or I have a fingerprint on the CD. Anyhow, So as you can see, there's several different ways you can go with this. You can start with very inexpensive equipment. If you have a computer, and you wouldn't be reading this or seeing it if you didn't. And uh, just some kind of USB audio interface. And there's several different types of software online. Some free, some shareware, freeware, um, some that you buy. Uh, there's True RTA. There's uh, Visual Analyzer. And uh, I'm sure there's others I'm not aware of that are just as good, if not better. There are also um, dedicated computer-based hardware solutions like the Quant Asylum QA. I think they're up to a 401. Not sure of the model number. Um, that is probably the direction I would look before I bought that several thousand dollar um, analyzer. Really, there's a lot of different ways you can go, and a lot of it's dictated by your pocketbook and your commitment. Um, fortunately, I had a little extra money, and I should certainly be committed. So, that's all I have to say on the subject right now. I just wanted to put a video up, since apparently I have a YouTube channel now that people are subscribing to, and I still don't know how that happened. Anyhow, I hope you all have a great day, and I enjoy making this video. I like to give back to the community that has given me so much. Take care. Bye-bye.